Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Elm Creek and another mod minute or so. Today I have got a mod from my game Steam. I will leave the link to the download in the description below out on King Mods. My game Steam has given us his version of the Crone Big M500. I'm a big fan of doing grass work in the game. And this bad Mamba Jamba is going to help you accomplish a lot of grass work in a hurry. And it's got a lot of configurations also avail available to it, which is really, really nice. So let's go ahead and jump into the store and take a quick peek at exactly what we have going on here. So for 460,000 euros for the base model, 520 to 620 horsepower, and it does have the variable CVT transmission. Speed is 20 kilometers per hour and it does go up to 13.2 meters let's take a quick peek at some of the configurations that are available so right away you're going to do the obvious thing which is bump up the engine to 620 horsepower that's the alpine edition he's also offered trailer borg nokian michelin midas continental bkt and bridestein tires they all have the same style of configuration you can go standard or wide except for Nokian, which is just your stock road communal tires. Beacons, you've got the EU Europe style beacons. You can also change those out to the American style, the US style beacons. Speed signs, we have selected our none. We've got the rear only. Gets adds that style to the front. Let me go back so you can see speed sign rear the 50 both sides we've got 50 and 50 and then all is 50 50 on both sides and on the back as well or you can do none which gets rid of that little 50 guy if you don't like having that on there at all Reverse lights, of course, you can add reverse lights down here on the back, which are really handy. We've got the Crone logo on the side here. We can add that if we'd like. I believe it's only on the right side. That is correct. We also have EU configuration overall, but you can also do, and I'll show you this, you can do US configuration, which takes warning sides off the front and adds triangles to the rear. Back to EU, so you can see the difference there. Flag, no flag on the cab. You can have American flag or European flag, none at all. GPS adds a little GPS dome to the top there. Attachers, we've got your standard hitch attacher, but we can also add a PTO extension, which is super handy. Capacity is for, from what I can tell, is just for the def tank and fuel. You can do default tank and you can bump that up to tank extension. I don't believe there's anything cosmetic that changes with that. Maybe you'll see it. I have not seen a difference in that. I don't think there is one. And then GPS, of course, is just my ex GPS um, guidance steering mod that I have installed. Main colors, you get a wide variety of colors to select from for the body, we can go ahead and we can just do like, uh, actually, let me pick something a little bit different. Let's go with red, a little Christmas tree action. Design color, we can change to blue. Oh, that's lovely. Go to hub colors, which are, of course, hubs, center hubs right there. Rim color, do rim color there. And then your second, or I'm sorry, first decal I skipped over, which is this decal right there on the sides. I think it's only on that side. And then you can also change the front decal to red probably wasn't the best choice. There we go. You can see the front decal has also changed there. And of course, license plates are available for front and rear or both. Now there are two mods that are suggested that you add to this. One of them is the simple controls mod. You can get that out on GitHub. And the second one you can get from the Giants in-game mod hub, which is the exhaust extension mod, which adds a little bit 
better look to the exhaust coming out of the tailpipe. Neither one are required, are just they're both just suggested. Let's take a look at the inside of our Crone Big M. Pretty standard Crone mower interior. Let's fire it up so we can see these beautiful interactive consoles that we have here. Really, really nice. Get a listen to the engine sound. What I have displayed here is a US version with beacons. We can take a quick peek at those. We can take a look at the lighting. Really, really well lit up. Let's go ahead and unfold it real quick. Big old bat wings on it. Crank up the lighting so we can see what that looks like. Very, very nice. You also, of course, of course, have swath variations. You've got wide spreading. Center swath. Right. I'm sorry, left and right swath are back to wide spreading there. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up and take a look at the cutting on it. So here we've got your basic wide swath. We'll go ahead and switch between them here. Center swath. Let me back out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Left and right swathing. Back to wide swath. I'll show you the reverse lights as well. Very, very handy. Let's get her folded back up again. So if you're looking to get a lot of grass work done in a hurry, this just might be the way to go. And that rear PTO is also exceptionally handy if you want to add, let's say, a baler to the back. Or I guess you could even add a tether if you wanted to. Might come in pretty handy, get the job done a little bit faster. So thank you, my game team. Appreciate you throwing this one out for us. Uh, I got this from King Mods from his page out there. Like I said, I will leave a link to the download in uh, King Mods so you can grab it for yourself if you'd like. Actually, we can take a quick peek even at the dirt layer on this thing. I always like to look at the dirt layer on, on these. I tend to like my vehicles a bit dirty. Kind of see how it's going to look after it's had a good deal of field work to it. Very, very nice. Nice dirt layer to it. But thanks everyone for watching. I do appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Of course, give Steam some love. My game Steam some love. Or Steam as well if you'd like. Download the mod. Check it out for yourself. Appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time here on Elm Creek. Bye for now.